Hello everyone and welcome back to Gunner Hate PC where we continue on doing our instant actions. Now we will not be doing Blind Buffalo today as it is a nighttime mission and because we're at T55A the night vision in those are completely garbage. So we're going to be looking at doing Hunting Goliath, Bumbling Baboons and Fog of War. So let's jump in with Hunting Goliath. We are a T55A platoon. Friendly forces reporting enemy companies attacking up the hill towards them in force. Your platoon is in an advanced position to flank this company. We're up against four M1 IPs and three M113s. Well, we're stuffed already because they've got they've got Abrahams and we can't knock those things out unless we hit them in the ass. Hello, rear end of M1 Abrahams, and they know we're here. That's bollocks. We'll do that. God damn, I hate Russian tanks. Their survivability is awful. I know there's probably a proper way of doing it, but I hate the tanks too much to actually warrant me to even figure that out. And we're dead. <laughs> what? I... Oh. Oh, I... <laughs> What am I meant to be doing here? Seriously, I, I hit, hit them in the ass, stop them from being able to move. And yet, I know there's probably a proper way of playing these vehicles. I know, but I, I find the packed vehicles have that much survivability. I'd rather drive a car coated in tin foil with a fucking recoilless rifle on it. Seriously, I would actually have more luck with that thing than I would have a, a, a Russian Soviet tank. They are garbage. I I hate them. <laughs> Putting it nicely, I hate them. Moving on to bumbling baboons. We are a reduced M60A3 company team. There is an enemy strong point to your front over the hill and you are ordered to attack it. And we're up against 3 to 6 T72M1s and the possibility of a platoon of T55As in reserve. Well, this mission's already one up, and we're in an M60 A3, and I do like American vehicles because they're actually decent. I didn't think the M60 was a good tank to begin with, but in comparison to the Soviet vehicles, so much better. We are going up the hill and to take their position. Can do. All we need to do is peek our turret slightly over the top and be able to do all the deeds because gun depression. Enemy vehicles just down there. Alright, those guys haven't stopped, so we're going to keep pushing ourselves. It'd be nice to be able to tell the rest of the platoons not to push up. Go, 
You know, jeez. Now, see, if we were in a T55A, we'd be dead. Now we're dead. There you are. Oh, bums. We're not having a very good run at the moment, are we? This is going to be a very, very, very short episode. At this rate. But it, 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 what I'm trying to say, though, is if the devs are there, it would be nice to be able to make, even if it's, I know it's not realistic, but being able to bring up a tactical map or something, because this, this is how I work. I, I'm a very, I, I prefer playing strategy games, personally. And just telling you guys, can you move to this up to about this point and just sit there? Because it's really frustrating to see those M113s just race forward and get completely obliterated. That is not how I play. Would like to go ahead and attack a, 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 a position, especially if the enemy are dug in. I like to reco I like to see where the enemy are. Maybe draw their fire a little bit just to, so I can make sure that yes, that is where they are, and then blow the living shit out of them from a distance. And that is exactly how the American forces operated in the closing years of World War II. The German shot would fire a shell out of a tank that was in an ambush position. The Americans would go, oh shit, we're being attacked. So what did they do? They would fall back behind the nearest tree line. They would call in artillery support and they would call in airstrikes on the location. And that that's it. That's how she wrote. How do I know this? Tigers in the Mud by Otto Carriers. Fantastic memoir by one of the best tank aces that Germany had at the time. He fought on the Russian front for the most part, and he thought the Russians were absolutely stupid with their uh, just complete lack of regard for men and material. And then he was found it very frustrating fighting against the Americans when he was assigned to a Yag Tiger because that's, ex that's the exact tactic that they used they would get shot at, they would fall back behind trees, and then come proceed to bomb the living shit out of their locations, whether it was with artillery or air force. But yeah, go, going back to my original point, it would be nice to be able to tell your tanks, this is as far as we're going, we're going to snipe and shoot the shit out of all the enemy vehicles that we can see dotted around the landscape before moving up, instead of going, hey look! There's the enemy! Let's push at them! Insert... Insert clip from the movie Fury. Against a single tiger. Alright, moving on to Fog of War. We're in M1 platoon with M113 support. That is the best news I could read all... Oh. Say no more. You got me at M11. Uh, you got me at uh, M1 Abrams. He's dead. All I can say is, thank you for giving me a real tank. It's being a bit high. That is how you do it. Hoorah. All 
right, because the other missions were cut a little bit short, we're just going to keep going. And we're going to do Gregacious Gorge. We might actually do the rest of um, the rest of this bulk of missions, in all honesty. So we're a combat reconnaissance patrol. Regimental recon troops to your front have reported light contact to their front and uh, requesting assistance. You're moving up to stage 100, 200 meters behind their current position. And we are just to spot them. Once the regimental recon makes contact with the enemy, you have to advance to destroy the expected enemy forces to your front. So then we're meant to change to the T-55A. Ugh, okay. See how we go. See how we go. I saw something there. Where else is the rest of the enemy? Over there. Ah, hello. I see you. Make sure he's dead. Only got one shell left. And we're dead. Ah, oh, man. And this is what I mean. There'll be a nice way. To, it'll, be, it'll just be really nice. If we could tell our guys not to go forward and get themselves killed. Alright, so this vehicle's all right up anyway. Engine's damaged, radio destroyed, gunner killed. May as well just drive forward and get yeeted. How close can we get? I don't seem to be having a good luck. There we go. Wow! These scenarios are a little bit challenging, but again, the AI is just like, let us go forward and attack. And I know there's probably a way, I know I could just be hitting tab, going to the leader of the Nava platoon and telling them to just hold fire, you know, just halt, don't move forward, just stay in the current position. Which I guess is something I should be doing, but I still... It's not my way of doing stuff. I don't like going to first person and having to tell everyone in person. It'd be, it'd be like it being playing how, something like How Let Loose, playing as a commander and not having the ability to communicate with all your squad leaders at the same time. Be, like imagine running up to every individual soldier saying, "Hey, can you push north? Can you push north? Can you push north?" It, it just. I'm a person who doesn't like tedium. All right, we're now doing Gambling Giants. We're a mech infantry company. Your company is going to conduct an attack on a small collection of structures up the hill to your front, but we must destroy the enemy screening elements just to your front left. Okay, can do. Like the whole numbers thing would work well if you had about 300 tanks. Then again, Battle of Kursk, where the Germans lost 300 tanks and the Soviets lost 3,000. It's not down, well, it is a mixture of down to the quality of troops using them, but it's also down to the vehicle's quality as well. And frankly, what an awesome gun on this tank. Why me? Well, we are the scout vehicle, so we may as well push forward. Oh, you got 
started shooting at. Oh! Hello! Woohoo! I'm mean, all lament that was my fault then. I will not lie. Was it? Paying attention to the town ahead, I was too worried about where the reinforcements were coming from. Oh. I do not like the controls for that. Guys, guys, seriously, there's an enemy tank. Stop driving into their guns. Perfect. Now we have to defend. With what? What have we got left? <laughs> oh. Okay, yeah, we'll defend. Sure. We're defending against M1 Abraham, so we've had it. We've had it. We've, we've absolutely had it. Boy. There they are. And they look like Abrahams. No, M60s. Oh, good. Something I can kill. I do not like those controls at all. No, they are awful. We've won! Huzzah! Yeah, the, 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 the Kaliushka uh, anti-rocket thing aiming on the BMP-1 is god-awful. Not going to lie. We'll require a lot more practice playing as a BMP-1 to understand what's going on there. Alright, an inconceivable intermission. We are an M2 section leader taking part in a company team advance on the enemy. Up against two to three platoons of unknown composition, expect BMP-1, T-55As and or T-72M1s. Let's hope they are BMP-1s or T-55As, a lot more easier to manage. In a M2, that is. If it's a T72, we may as well be barking at the tree. But at least we've got decent guided missile launches compared to packed crap. Boom. There goes our platoon member. That was about four different messages and one blurt out just then. Oh good. Just the information I like to hear.
Boom. Now this is an aiming system. After that, I don't think that we need to engage anything. Alright, that's come off. Boom! There's nothing left to re-engage. Don't tell me that, Malaki. Boom! The difference between quality vehicles over shit. I'm sorry, I just, I'm very, I don't like packed tanks, they're just awful. All right, we are doing the final one here, the IFV, IFV incident. You're a company team in a defensive position. There are reports of enemy armor advancing to your front. One to two platoons of M60A3 or one to two platoons of M2s. That's manageable. 3T55A, 3 BMP1s, and 1 to 2 T72 M1s. Cool. Basically, defending, I can do that. I will be happy with that. And now we wait. The only problem with these tanks, these T55As, is they've got no gun depression. They've only got 5 degrees, which is pitiful. There's movement. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's movement over here. Over there, and. Our guys are shooting at chaps up there, which I can also just see, which are behind the trees. Right, we need to do a lot of this kind of stuff. Go 10, 11. Nope, that fell short. Go to 16. Don't know where that even landed. Enemy vehicle, front. Let's fire. We were on target, but too far to the left. Uh, 18. Hey, we hit him! But we ran out of ammunition. Oh, there's another one to our right. I'm pointing at the screen, but you can't see it. I can't do the turret. Can you not turn the turret whilst we're restocking? Oh, here comes the tail launcher. What are we hit? <laughs> I can't. Seriously, what 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 do we hit? Oh, for Christ's sakes! I I'm a big fan of packed forces vehicles. I love them with all my heart. I reckon they're the best things since sliced cheese. If you cannot hear the sarcasm in my voice, what are you doing? AI, please just. 
why are we why are we moving HET? Christ on mining. Hi. Oh, we're dead. And these guys are restocking. Excellent. What a brilliant piece of machinery this piece of garbage is. Absolutely fantastic. Esther. Oh good, we're being killed. Oh, give me a decent tank. Thank you. And by decent, I mean insert an asterisk here at the end of it because it's still Soviet. I missed! Are you kidding me? I can reload, 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 reload! Oh, that was too close. You better run. You better run. Excellent. We win. Well, that is all we've got time for for today. I do apologize for my salt towards pack vehicles. I think they are just absolute dog shit though. Anyway. I've been your host, Sir Firecat. You have been watching Gunna Heat PC, and until next time, take care.